word. Phase. Of moon. Third. Now let's turn over to the Cousins Brothers, founders of Third Phase of Moon, the world's largest UFO YouTube channel. Blake and Brent, how you doing this morning? Well, we're doing great, and we just wanted to talk about some breaking news that just came into Third Phase of Moon, John. One of the things that we talked pre-air is so mind-blowing. Why don't we go ahead and tell the listeners about this breaking news that happened exclusively right there on Third Phase of Moon. Well, it was quite incredible when we were taking calls, Third Phase of Moon live radio right here, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And we got a call from Wilmington, Ohio, September 27th, and it was astonishing. People in that area, in the whole area of Dayton, Ohio, and Wilmington, noticed a big flash in the night sky. It lit up the whole neighborhood. Everybody was waiting to hear like a crack from a lightning, but there was none whatsoever. And people thought that it could have been a plane crash of some sort, but they called into third phase of moon. They wanted to report this. They shared it with the police. They contacted the police. They said they were getting reports in. They contacted the military. They didn't get a response back. Then they contacted third phase of moon. And what we, we're sharing the link right below in this video. If you want to hear this breaking news broadcast, it was quite amazing, John when you get people from around the world having their eyes on the skies and you're live on the radio and then this happens quite astonishing and one of the best things about it is not even 12 hours later there were so many websites talking about this crash and how it was caught while on a live broadcast absolutely correct and the credit is due people are saying third phase of moon was right there while the live broadcast was going on and that to me is you know important because that's what people need to know if they've seen anything or captured anything third phase of moon is a place to report it immediately and if we can get this breaking news out as fast as possible we'll get it out and now we got some even more breaking news this woman who wants to remain anonymous from sweden we'll call her misty has brought some amazing photographs to share to the world you're right john she lives in Sweden. I'm not sure if she's there at the moment, but she shared 16 incredible photos with us right here at Third Phase of Moon. She has a, quite a story. She's apparently had contact with them since 1983 and the story behind it. John, what do you think about it? Tell our listeners what she says. If you see just one photograph by itself then you'd wonder but when I looked at every single one some of them are so detailed and and when you look at the reference points everything taken as a whole just shouts that there's the truth she's got veracity then she goes into detail of where they come she's been contacted since 1982 these craft come from the Andromeda constellation which is 170 197 light years away from Earth. Just those details alone goes to show with the photographic evidence that, hey, maybe we're dealing with something incredible here. Absolutely, and the work that Misty did, going out of her way, cropping the photos, enlarging them, enhancing them so we get a better look at it, that really helps. And if anybody out there is capturing this kind of stuff, we sure would like to see these photographs. And if they could go through that extra hard work like she did to portray what she's capturing that's what we're looking for she also said that these beings are sci on a scientific mission and they're uh, from other civilizations and they've been keeping in contact and they may be compromised of what they're doing on earth and she says that uh, these things are genetically pretty much the same way as humans that's why they look like us what would you have to say about that Yes, and that actually goes in line with what Dr. Gurr's been saying with that little humanoid that he has. Apparently, humans, this is just re what several researchers have said, apparently humans are a conglomerate of 20 or more species of different alien species, for lack of a better term. We're put together just like little machines, from diff a piece from there, a piece from there, and that's what makes us so special. Now, speaking of that, let's turn to a special town that you guys found right on the big island of Hawaii. Tell us what's so special about it, Blake. Well, we believe right here at Third Phase of Moon that the per capita, the residents, being that it's about 317 in the small town Kukahaili, 80% 
believe that they've seen something in the skies. And what's more amazing is that the Hawaiians named it Kukahaile for a special reason. In Hawaiian, it means the dancing lights. So we went around the neighborhood asking people what they saw. And again, the links below to view this video. And what we heard back was quite incredible. It truly is. The fact that you have uh, such a high capita of people that have seen stuff and then the name of the town to imply that from how whenever it was founded that they were actually seeing lights in the sky that are moving just the two combined have some veracity and truth to that too well the ancient hawaiians must have seen something and we are only about five miles down the road from kukahaile and we've seen a lot of strange lights my brother and i in that general area and is it military uh highly doubtful and the hawaiians and the ancient hawaiians have been here for a lot longer than the military has so there's something going on over this specific spot and we think it's probably the most like we said the highest rated ufo sighting per capita in the world wow it just seems that sightings are happening on a re more regular basis than ever and reports keep pouring in the videos keep pouring in let's just hope everybody else keeps pouring in the videos absolutely and john i wanted to hear some of the breaking news you're just about to share with us at third phase of moon in regards to an anthropologist that has has a mandible or a jawbone what, what what's this all about Absolutely. As everybody heard live on Third Phase of the Moon Radio, right here, Revolution Radio, freedomslips.com, we spoke to Tom Carey and Don Schmidt, who at some point after the Roswell crash at Wright Patterson Base, some officer came to a dental technician and gave him a mandible, a jawbone, now pro and asked them to make an impression. Prior to making an impression, they go to the sink and they wash it off to make sure there's no tissue, no, no extra hydration, and they took notice that this was exceptionally old, estimated to be about 20 to 30 years old, which fits in the fact that this was in the late 70s and the craft crashed in 47. Well, after the mold was made, they were told they needed a prescription from the officer to make this. this. The officer said, this never happened. We were never here. He took the mandible back and he crushed the impression and threw it up. The, the, the impression that they used to make the impression and threw it into the trash can. Well, the dental technician, as soon as the officer left, went ahead and took it out of the trash can and using his, you know, his expertise, reconstructed it put it back in shape and now we have something that fits into a life-size alien it is the lower jawbone the mandible of a gray alien not the real one the impression of one and from all accounts this looks like to be the real mccoy wow it sounded like he was really fast on his toes saw that they were trying to suppress the information grabbed what he could and was able to reconstruct this and now the evidence is out there absolutely amazing john that's right if anybody out there you know we're live right now the world's listening we want to share your videos and we will be doing a special report the best ufos of september and we invite everybody from around the world to check out third phase of moon youtube and check out our latest update dr jan elias appreciate it anytime and if anybody out there has captured anything amazing you could contact us via skype or facebook my name is blake cousins and we'll see you again next time when it comes to the truth, I seek it. When it comes to the truth, I speak it. Get it on tape and reveal it. Don't fear it. So now that it ain't no secrets. Though the skeptics, they keep laughing. Get it out there to the masses. Spaceships and crowds are passing. Through the night sky, bright lights are flashing. UFOs, they above my house. And the sentiment thoughts, I'm telepathic. Frequently get frequencies from outer space. Intergalactic, we bring that right knowledge. But most of the people confused. We see it in sacred silence. So practice boom and gloom. To the skies, we're paying homage. The Elohim returning soon. I'm chilling with Blake Cousins in the Third phase of the moon. I'm chilling with Blake Cousins in the third phase of the moon. Miles apart.
Bird is in time, and each one of them say they saw the UFO explode over the mountains in Utah.